the European Parliament reported back on their visit to Malta and their findings. It's, it's, a it's a report that's supported by the entire Parliament. What does it tell us about the situation in Malta today? What it tells us about the situation is a very worrying one. Because at the end of the day, the people of Malta would not like to see what is being reported upon. The people of Malta cherish the rule of law. The people of Malta cherish European values. The people of Malta cherish honesty. And what we are now being told, and of course the people of Malta knew this already, is that many of the institutions are in a state of collapse. And that is why the rule of law cannot be protected in the way we would really like it to be. And for me, it is irrelevant to hear, for instance, that we have legislation dealing with whistleblower protection. When, as a citizen of Malta, I do know that that legislation is, in fact, only protecting whistleblowers who come up with some kind of issue that is favorable to the government, whilst whistleblowers that would have any information that is critical to the government or even damning of people at the highest levels of government are not given any protection at all. At one point, the Minister of Justice said, but how can we allow a former official of the Financial Intelligence Analysis Unit, FIAU, to reveal information that he had in his possession when this would be in breach of legislation? Well, this is the whole point of whistleblowing, isn't it? If we do not allow people like him precisely to come out with the facts, especially after that reports by FIAU were totally ignored by the police, were totally ignored by the authorities in Malta, then are we now to say that now he cannot speak about it because he will reach some form of confidentiality? Isn't that the way to completely cover up the whole truth? We would like the truth. I do not want assurances which are simply hollow, which are not honest enough. Recently, I had the opportunity to uh, write a feature for the Times of Malta where I actually said that what government is doing is a form of faking it. But sometimes, even when you fake it, you can get caught out. And this is what is happening to the government of Malta right now. There's obviously a socialist government in power at the moment. Is this a partisan issue? You are, of course, a politician. Well, yes, I am a politician and I do not pertain to the uh, party uh, to which the government pertains. But my point of view is an objective one and I think this is affirmed by the fact that uh, the mission report has actually been adopted unanimously. The uh, mission that came to Malta represents all the political groups within the European Parliament. Apart from that, uh, it is a mission that has actually been led by Anna Gomez, who pertains to the Social Democrat Party, uh, which is the same party to which the government pertains. And uh, therefore, when you see all political forces within the European Parliament, as we also noticed at the discussion we have had this morning, issuing the same statements, making the same analysis, then I think that it is very clear that it is not merely a political perspective, but that this is the perspective of standing up for the truth, irrespective of different political loyalties.